Awesome, we got all this working, but there's one last thing that I wanna fix. If we were to try and disconnect this user, and um, they've already posted a tweet, we're gonna get an error here. Now we can look at the Rails logs on Heroku and see what's going on here. Basically, um, we get a, a Postgres foreign key violation, update or delete on table Twitter accounts, violates foreign key constraint on table tweets. So what that's saying is that the tweets table has an association to the Twitter accounts table, and you try to delete a Twitter account and not the associated tweets. You can't do that. Postgres is saying that is not allowed, and that's a good thing. We don't want orphaned records being left around, but what we need to do is actually update our Rails app to handle that as well. So let's go into our, um, our user model, or no, our Twitter account model. And when we say has many tweets here, this is setting up that association to tell Rails when you have a Twitter account in Ruby, that represents a database record. And there's a tweets table as well. And every Twitter account can have many tweets and those are associated. So when you wanna find a Twitter account's tweets, just look for all the Twitter accounts, do a SQL query that says tweets where Twitter account ID equals that number for the ID of the Twitter account. Now, the problem is when we delete a Twitter account, we also need to delete the tweets. And Rails on the associations here has a dependent destroy option. So you can say, anytime you delete a Twitter account, we'll also go and destroy all of those tweets. So these tweets are dependent upon the Twitter account. So if we are, um, if we add that, we can run um, our git commands to add that to git, git commit dash m, delete tweets when deleting Twitter account. We will push that to GitHub, and then we'll also push that to Heroku, and once this deploy is done, we can try deleting our Twitter account again, and Active Record, the database layer in Rails, will use that association option to delete the tweets before it deletes the Twitter account. So then all of those are deleted together. So now that that has finished deploying, if you want to open up your Rails logs on Heroku, you'll be able to see that it restarts your application here and everything gets restarted. So that if we refresh our page here, let's go back to Twitter accounts. We can click disconnect. We are sure, and that will succeed this time because we fixed that bug. Now, you won't be able to see the SQL queries in the production logs on Heroku, but if you do want to see how that dependent destroy works, take a look at your Rails logs in development mode and you'll be able to see that it does the delete of the tweets and then the delete of the Twitter account in your Rails logs. In production, you're having real users using your app and you might have hundreds of users all at once and that would make your logs very, very big to include everything. So sometimes you'll see these stripped out and a little bit um, less verbose than they are in development.